Hey guys, hope you're all well. This is Memory Recall number 17 for GCSE High Students. Let's crack on and see what we've got in today's video. So as ever, we're going to do the same content. We're going to have an interleaving starter, a bit like we do at school. Um, we're going to try and leave at least a day between doing these videos. As I've said in so many of these before, you need to leave a gap between them. You need to have a little bit of time for your brain to start to forget some of it so that when you recall the fact again, it strengthens that bond. And at the end, we're going to do six quick facts and formula tests. Some are the same, some are different to last time, uh, but hopefully we do well. Let's see what today's questions are. So at this point, you can pause the video, have a go at the questions and solutions will appear shortly. You'll notice that the majority are the same as what we've had in the previous, um, previous video. The only thing to be careful of here is this is a Fibonacci sequence. Um, and this trig question, we're now solving a trig equation. Give it a go and I'll show you some solutions in a second. And here are the solutions. So first of all, what multiplier would we use to increase this by 12.5%? So remember, we're starting with 100%. We're adding 12.5% to it, giving us 112.5%, which is this multiplier here. The next sequence in a Fibonacci sequence, or sorry, the next term in the Fibonacci sequence, remember that what we need to do is add up the previous two terms. So our next sequence is going to be 15 plus 28, which is 43. Expanding a pair of brackets, um, I say as long as you make sure that each term in the first bracket is multiplied by each term in the second, you can use a grid if your teacher is showing you that way. I still use FOIL because that's the way that I was shown, um, but fundamentally everything needs to be multiplied by everything else. So 6x multiplied by x gives me 6x squared. 6x multiplied by negative 5 gives me negative 30x. Negative 1 times x is negative x, and negative 1 times negative 5 is positive 5. And then we collect the two middle terms together, giving us this solution down here. Finally, solve sine x equals a half between 0 and 360. We can use our calculator to do this. It's going to help us hugely. So when we do that, we're going to use our um, calculator, do sine to the minus 1 of 0 0.5. It'll tell you 30 degrees. That 30 degrees value, if I can just kind of start to jot it on, is going to be somewhere about here. Okay, and we can see that at a half, we're going to get an, ooh, <laughs> we're going to get another value over here, if I can draw straight, which is 30 degrees from zero that way, which is going to be the same as 30 back. So my final value is 150 degrees. So you need both of those in there. Okay. <clears throat> Let's move on. And so today's formula, we've got six questions. Um, pause the video again, write down the solutions in a second. And here are your solutions. So this time we've got volume of a cylinder. Volume is pi r squared multiplied by the vertical height. Um, an expression for an even number. Even numbers um, are written when we're doing some algebraic proof as 2n. If you double any number, you get an even number. Sine rule for a side, A over sine A equals B over sine B. Area of any triangle, this is some new learning that we've done recently, half A, B, sine C. Cosine rule for a side, A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos A. And the exact value of sin 270 is minus 1. Um, and again, we can get that from our graph. Okay, so hopefully you found this video useful. As ever, if you like and subscribe, it's helpful um, for you rather than looking on class charts all the time. Keep a record, see how you go, and it sounds like we might be seeing each other before the summer at some point, fingers crossed. So stay safe and see you all soon. Bye!